Hello my wonderful friends, Megas coming to you from the beautiful castle in the mountains. And my friends, today's message is so important. I'm going to ask you, you might want to watch this one twice. The information in this, it's life changing. You're going to love it. I think it's beautiful. Our channel has become just as known for Egyptian mythology as far as Zoroastrian teaching. So I know you're going to get something powerful out of this, my friends. I love you guys. Enjoy. Hello, my wonderful friends. Megas with you on a beautiful day in Ashen. Oh, have I got a message for you guys. It's about the Egyptian ink. It's the key of life, and it's a powerful symbol. I'm going to show you how can, you can use that power today. I'm going to actually give you practices, ancient practices, my friends, that will change your life. It's a powerful symbol. E even the Christians use that symbol, the early Christians, my friends. Why would they do that? Because there's a real similarity, my friends, in this truth I'm about to give you. Uh, Isis and Horus. In the West here, we would say Mary and Jesus. If you're Zoroastrian, it's the pure water that Zarathustra is born out of. It's pure virgin consciousness, the pure word that the Christ, the Savior, is born in you, my friends, the ink is called the key of life. And I'm going to show you why. The ink, it re represents three consonants, my friends, three consonant sounds that we don't have in the English language. It makes me think of what Tesla said. If you can understand sound and frequency, you can understand the world. They understood this thousands of years ago. And they had take those three sounds... And when they spoke their, their blessings or their spells, they put it in there. They would say, be well, have life, my friends. And they'd use those three sounds in their spells. And my friends, the Egyptians were known for being great magicians. Jesus was an amazing miracle worker. The Magi, the Zoroastrian priest, the wise men... My friends, that's what magic was named after the Magi. And do you know what magic is? <laughs> it's so simple. It's your natural set point. We're meant to live in divine life, in divine health, in freedom and provision and protection. That's our natural set point. And people think we're magicians because we live in that. My friends, they, they think it's magic or we're lucky. No, my friends, we, we know the secret and we hold the secret. Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he who holds my word has God life. We have to hold that frequency. My friends, we now know everything is energy. Everything that is form and matter, it's energy vibrating at a frequency. If we get the right frequency, we're going to create the right form and matter. Oh, I just said something there, guys. The power of three. We're going to get into that. The ink, my friends, it's a tuning fork. And it holds the secret of those, those three sounds that give power to your words. It's a frequency that gives power to your words. It's the word behind the words. The word ink it, it, those sounds are used in the words live, in the words oath, in the word mirror, and flower. And I think of the flower of life. Mirror, my friends. It, it's us mirroring the true image of God. Divine life. Divine health. Perfect love. Perfect peace. We mirror that. How do we mirror that, my friends? with our frequency, with the energy that we hold, the sound, the original sound, that holy ohm, the, the perfect creator's perfect idea that he spoke this world into existence with a frequency of his holy voice that is the real above all real. My friends, and when we mirror that frequency, we create that frequency, and people will call it magic. So beautiful.
Zarathustra said in his song one that I, Zarathustra, am continually attuning myself to Asha. Asha is the perfect creator's perfect idea. It's the Christ mind. It's the holy ohm where you and God are one. My friends, the, the temples in Egypt, they, they were built to attune your heart. To attune your heart to God. And my friends, when you realize that you are the temple, and those temples were made to hold a certain frequency, those sounds, my friends, that, that I'm going to give to you. We don't have English words, but I think I found a way, my friends, and it's beautiful. In those temples, there were images of the constellations, 12 constellations. In those temples, there were 12 pillars. Again, think of like Jesus and the 12 disciples. There, <clears throat> there's power in numbers. Tesla again talked about that. Three, six, and nine. The power of 12, my friends. 12 pillars. 12 constellations. And they had to do with that frequency of the ink. My friends, 12 times 12 is 144. Another powerful number, my friends. And then we're going to talk about the power of three. You take 144 times three. So you have Father, Son, Holy Ghost. You have energy, matter, frequency. My friends, that, that pyramid, that triangle. 144 times three is 432. 432 hertz, my friends. That goes directly to the heart chakra. That is the frequency of the heart Chakra of the heart. And my friends, we were saying the temples, they were built to attune the heart. When they would speak those three consonant sounds, they would resonate at 432. And so when they said, be well, have God good life, and they were using those sounds in it, my friends, it went directly to the heart. And it brought that alignment, that truth, that light, my friends. And I have today my singing bowl set at 432 and I'm going to speak these over you but I want you to do these for yourself my friends I heard a story of a disciple that asked his master you've reached enlightenment why do you still practice hours a day and the master told him so I hold that frequency so I stay in enlightenment so I don't get angry so so I don't have unforgiveness in me so I don't slip back, my friends. We have to do our practices. And if you don't have a singing bowl, you can find this frequency on your phone. You can go to YouTube and find that frequency, that heart chakra frequency of 432, and then just speak truth. I am divine life. I come from good spirit, and I'm made of good spirit. I am love. And you feel that love. I am peace. I am joy. I am one with God. And my friends... The message of all the masters is to be 100% God. 100% God. That's what Jesus said. In that day they will know we are one. No separation. My friends, ink, one of the things it means is mirror. We talked about you're mirroring the true image of God. It also means oath. And my God, it made me think of the first spell ever written down. Listen to this and imagine it with those sounds my friends those heart sounds circle of oath insurmountable divine circle of oath heaven and earth's unaltered circle by oath God is one and cannot be changed God and man shall not be divided my friends and I love that they'd use those Sounds, those resonating sounds of the holy ohm of magic. And if there was a person that was sick, they would put flower, a circle of flower around their bed, and then they would speak these spells. You cannot be separated from divine life. You come from divine life. You're made of divine life. You are health. Sickness and disease dies when it touches you. Be well. Oh my, my, my friend, so beautiful. Can you feel that? 
that holy sound and that holy word behind the holy words. So beautiful.